Made in Abyss, ep- episode 2, no, season 2, episode 4. Um, was this called Friend? Or was it called Princess of Hollows? Anyways, um, the last episode we learned a bit about how the barter system works and, you know, the... Okay, what do they call it? The balancing act, like the rebalancing. Um, <coughs> and I'm kind of like, oh god, I want to watch this episode. But, um, yesterday I was planning on watching episode 4, but uh, I didn't really feel like super well after recording episode 3. So I decided to go to bed. But I still wanted a little bit of Made in Abyss. So I basically semi watched um, episode 1 to 3. And one thing I noticed and is the fact that the words that the oh God, mechanical one says, like Madi Hadi, he says something like that, is the same words that the old man. Um, you know, that they traded the compass with uh, for information. He said those words. I don't think that uh, the robot gas is um, that old man. I think it is the guy with the scar, you know, like the burn mark or whatever on his face. The one that was basically their translator. Uh, that is who I think this. Uh, if only I remember his name. Makufo? Makaya? Something like that. That is who I think he used to be before he became hollow. Um, but yeah, let's just start the episode. So I can find out, you know. And I also want to know more about the Prince of the Hollows. Like, why did she steal their hair and do all this stuff? Jesus, very loud. But she is different. Oh, so they know each other. (coughs) Okay, yeah. Like, I don't think it would make sense for her to... Well, maybe she knows his name is Rego. She has been following and listening. So, did his name used to be Sosu? (laughs) All right. He's like, oh, they're watching you. She's like, no, I don't want to be watched. (coughs) Alright, like I said, I'm going to skip the intro. Or the OP, because I think it reveals a bit too much. Alright. Friend, okay, yeah. (coughs) And I still think that that ball they're showing as the picture for friend is the ball that was hanging in this place. That was bleeding. (laughs) 
Yeah, he's like, you have no value. I mean, I guess you could pr maybe trade. Magica, yeah. It's how she felt. <laughs> All right, yeah. So it isn't just that you can just say it. It has to be like... Yeah, all right. Yeah, and that becomes the truth. She's like, oh, Mitty, Mitty was. She's like, wait, how do you know that? How do you know Meaty? Reg, are you gonna communicate with Nenechi now? <coughs> to be like, I am in a bit of a predicament. But who are you? <coughs> Faputa. Well, I guess you're lucky. Maybe she probably still noticed it, but <coughs> does that hurt? <laughs> She's like, no, you belong to me. Is she going to heal you? Oh god. <laughs> oh Jesus. High value. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's like, get away. I do not consent. I do not consent, Faputa. Uh, I don't like that. I don't, I, I don't think she is lying. But I don't like that he used to be called Reg before as well. <coughs> I think it would have been better if he used to be called Sosu 
or something. It's like, I'll think about that. Yeah, like, when, when it happens, then I'll start thinking about it. But until then... Okay. So is she gonna try and... Kill Riku and Nenichi? Or do something to them? To get the rig back? And who are you? Because I thought you were the one robot that said like Golden City and then got snatched up by that monster. <coughs> it still reminds me a bit of that robot, but I'm not sure if it actually is him. Yeah, but does it matter? Probably not. If you do get your memories back, I don't think you're gonna be you're not gonna be the way you are now, nor will you be the way you used to be. Because I mean you have different experiences and memories now. Is this where all this stuff is hap is falling down? All these... Oh god. Do we have to listen to those noises? Yeah, I have to remove these. I can't handle that. I mean, sure, that sounds good. It, it, it wipes for you. Good enough. It is, and my shit. <coughs> yeah, that's true. Be careful. Wait. You don't know if that water is safe. Oh, it actually pointed her into the right direction. I thought it would be like, give me value first, but no. Yeah, and this is dangerous. You should not leave. You should stay there. Like, oh, you started screaming. And many is like, you know what? I'm scared. Like, I've been almost killed by one of these people before. So it's FUBU directions, maybe? Oh, no, Rico. I know your traveling spirits and all that. I mean, I am unsettled, like, the one that used to be in, and they're all following. Uh, 
they, I mean, they're following you because you have high value. Or maybe because they know, you know, like where Magikaya is. So they want to escort you there. <coughs> Don't do it, Rico. Don't go into the alley. I mean, I think this is... I don't think they're actually going to hurt her. I think they're just... I think this is just like a... What's it called? I... No, no, I refuse. Uh, not again. Oh, wait. Oh, this thing survived? And is now helping. Okay, so I was wrong. Oh! Rig's arm? Wait a minute. Oh, maybe Rico is keeping it. I guess it's gonna let this thing... <coughs> ...learned its lesson. So I guess... So how does this work? I was like... That that thing was killed, but doesn't seem to be the way it works. It's like it wants some friends. <coughs> okay, so obviously this. Thing is going to end up being important. Ma. <coughs> I need to find some clean water and food for Rico. But Rico already drank some water. Don't get sidetracked, Rico. <coughs> so I must have forgotten that Rico picked up Reg's arm after he got cut off by Bondrood. For some reason, in my mind, that arm was like disintegrated. Like it just was gone gone but no <coughs> oh god uh, those lines on ma it looked like it was some type of like bugs or something on my screen i was like wait what the fuck
<laughs> well, that doesn't really... Oh. All right, you pop it. Oh, and then you stab it. It's like a, a p toothpick. It actually seems good, all right. Hmm, wait. Silla, wait a minute, I understood you. Oh, okay. Uh, for some reason I thought it was because she ate that food, she started to understand what they're saying. But no. Okay, yeah, it is. Some people understand. And I guess also it's a good thing to have Rico go out by herself. Even though, man, I wish she didn't for her own good. But for the story, it is good. Oh. And is this one of the sages? So we've seen one. This is probably the second one. And they mention a third sage as well. I think Bond Druid. Oh, mid is here. <coughs> She's like, God damn it. I thought. Is it okay? So I guess you are the balancing act. All right, so that is so the one keeping you know the balance is a hollow herself. <coughs> and I think they said like ah, if the value is linked to you, so even if you throw it away, you know it's not gone. So that's probably it. Mitty has become value for Nene's chi. So, you know, Mitty, you cannot throw her away. She's, I guess, eternally stuck. Uh, but at least here, it might seem that Mitty might have like an okay life for her situation, for the situation that she is in. I mean, she did look pretty comfy. Um, uh, but that to me, like, oh, Jesus, okay. Did her eye grow back? Now when I, I have to go back there because, yeah. Did she have two eyes? Yeah, I mean, this was another great episode. It was a bit more slow-paced, but I like that. Oh, uh, one of these things. So, is, we're gonna fight that concealment. Is that something that's gonna be, like, a problem next episode? Maybe for Rig, as he goes back. Yes, here we go. Meaty. The, her limbs, everything grew back to how it was pre, you know, I guess, bond root experimentation. And I mean, she looks decently happy. Maybe because she finally saw Nenichi. It's like, oh, 
She also looks comfy. Um, so I think what I think that is, is correct. That the reason why Mitty is still alive is because she has turned, she was turned, she is turned into value. Um, And I wonder, Ma, you know, Ma, because Ma does seem like it's regenerating, I guess. Or is it that, you know, hollows truly can never truly die? Um... Because I was going to say, like, ah, oh, maybe the reason why Mai is not truly dead is because, you know, it was inside this place. The rebalancing act. She, Ma, is, like, starting from scratch. Um, and we're going to have to rebuild, you know, value while Mi, uh, Mitty, for example, would, uh, you know... Um, be dead dead because they died outside of this area but that isn't the case um, I mean I really want to find out how this works now because this is to me really like I guess yeah it is interesting and I really feel I don't know I feel bad for Nenichi Seeing that, oh no, you know, Mitty is still alive, she, you know, is it my fault? The fact that, is she gonna learn that, ah, uh, because she is basically worth to me, she's like valued, is that why she cannot truly not die, because... I have put such high value on her, which goes against her wish of being killed. Um, and then maybe Nenet, she's going to be like, you know what? I don't value her. Please, let her die. And it's going to be like, what your words say, you know, doesn't really mean anything. It's what you feel. And then maybe Nenet, she's going to have to lie to herself and trick herself into thinking that Mitty doesn't have that high value so that she can truly die. I wonder if that is going to be like Nenichi's little thing to do. And I mean, when Faputa was smelling regs, you know, like penis, that was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Watching that, like, hmm. I mean, I guess she has a smell fetish. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.